Brian. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here with Brian. And we are doing grade two. Alright, and this is a lesson. So you were, you, we will post in the uh, first one already, and this is the second lesson now from grade two. So we're skipping the scales hand and churning mm -hmm. and going straight on to our pieces. So first piece, Mizuka for Chopin. Let's go. Thank you. So coming along, just don't go too fast, okay? That's probably the main reason why we had some slips. So a bit slower, and the pedal, we have to capture the bottom, bottom yeah, the bass notes. So how do we do that is we hold the finger five a bit longer. So your pedal has time to change. Let's give it a try from the top. So here a bit more dramatic. Watch me. Put more weight onto the second one. Let's go. Good. Hop off me. Let's make the second one a bit more because we've got this chord, right? Surprise. So you can hear we've got a clash. And when there's a clash in the music, we should go a bit louder. So tense up a bit more there. And then drop. Relax. Make sense? This is when. You go to your room and you realize your favorite teddy bear has gone missing. <gasps> you think it must be Sarah. She took my teddy bear. But then you see it on your bed. Oh, phew. It's okay. And then back. Let's give it a try. So first one. In. Now bigger. better now we lost the pedal on one of them right so we'll try one more time a little slower let's go one two three one two three pedal on change one two three great but still a mistake though i need a perfect so we have to do another few times go one two three Yes, that's good. But can you do it again? Let's find out. using something. So tell the audience, how old are you? Six. He's six years old, 
and we're going to teach him how to use rubato. So rubato is something we do in romantic music. And it's where we push and pull. So the purpose of it is to make music more expressive. And we usually pull at the end of our phrase. phrase. Okay. So at the end of the sentences, we take time. So let's try that. I want you to push my arm, okay? So we're going to push the music along. Ready? Push. 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 And then pull. There we go. Exactly. Now do the same thing, but behind me. So you're going to push my back, kind of like what you did to mommy before, and then pull me later on. Ready? Push. 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 And now pull my back. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, just don't break my shirts, okay? All right. Now you hop on. So we're gonna try that. Come and then push. So let's try both hands. Go. I think I one here. Now push. And then push. And then pull. I don't have pedal. Yeah, still sounded good though. Let's try again. Okay, I want perfect. Let's try. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Yes, good. Now one more time. So I know it's not luck. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Now section B. This one. You know what this means? Poco più vivoce. I think I said that right. Vivoce. That means. I don't know. Yes, it means to go faster. So how we're going to go faster but still be musical? Hop up for me. Is we're going to make the push and pulls a bit more aggressive. Yes. Now before you get too excited, we have some rules. Okay. Rule number one is don't break my shirt. Yeah. Okay. Rule number two. Just be more heavy with the push and the pull. Are you ready? Now this time is quite a lot of pushing, okay? So we're just gonna push. Dom? Actually, you have to pull. I'm pushing, but you're pulling. So you have to pull me to the right, and then you're gonna push after. Ready? So you stay on my right, and you're gonna pull my arm. And it's quite heavy because it's fast, right? Just don't break my arm, yeah? Yes, you can do that, right? Okay, ready? Pull. Now push. Push. So pull, push, push, push. Say for me. Pull, push, push, push. All right, ready? Pull, push, push, push. Pull, push, push, and pull. Good. Now we're gonna go a bit faster, so you can pull a bit more aggressive. But remember rule number one, which is don't break my hand. My shirt. Okay. Otherwise, you will have to pay for it. You will have to vacuum in your <laughs> mom's room <laughs> and make some money. <laughs> so, ready for the pool? Be more aggressive. Ready? Go. Push. 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 Pull. Push. Push. And pull. Pretty good. High five. I almost broke your shirt. Did you? Good thing you didn't. <laughs> or that would be a lot of vacuuming. <laughs> okay, let's try. So my turn. Ho, 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 ho. Let's go from here. So not so fast the first time. Let's go. Now faster. Two, two. Second. 
second time. So we're going to do this a total of five times. Ready? Five times. Yes. And go. Fail. Try again. We'll do it one more time. Da, 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 da. Go, it's more swing. When you play, by the way, you should look where? At the face. At, at the what? The face. Look at the. You don't know what this is called. Yeah. It's called the score. Score. Yeah. Say for me, it's the score. Score, not the face. This is not a face, <laughs> this is a score. <laughs> if you don't look, you don't know what to play, right? It's like reading a book. And Harry Potter waved his wand and, and then fell on the toilet. You need to look at the score, right? I know how to memorize every book. Oh, really? That's not possible. You need to read it. Otherwise, you don't know the words, right? So let's go from here. The book is probably made by Ryan. That's why you remember it. Let's go from here. Better. You see, instantly better because you look good. One more time. So one more time, I'll still pull and push you, but last time I won't, okay? The next time I won't. Let's try. Now let's go. Alright, now this time, I'm not helping you. Ready? Go louder, by the way. On the pulls, you can... Dig more. Look at the score. Yeah, okay. One more time. Let's go from here, yo. I like your pull though. You can slow down a bit more. Let's go from here, yo. So this one is in what form? So it's a dance, so there's only two options. It's either binary form or, or binary form. Good. So we ask ourselves, does the first section come back? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what's funny is we got this, right? Dum, 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 which we don't see before. 
So what do we call that? Is that A? Is that B? Or is it something else? Thing? Good try. It's called... Think of a storybook, right? In the very beginning of a storybook, we have something called an... In, in, in the time? Oh, have you learned this word? Intro... No. Oh, introduction. Say for me. Introduction. Yeah. You'll learn this later on at school when you start learning how to write a story. In the introduction, you might say, there once was a blue river with, with a, a ghost in it. And a the, ghost in it. And the ghost made his face 2009. And the ghost what? Face made his face. Face smack his. his. He smack his face. He is something's face. No, he smack his face. I don't understand this language. So, <laughs> but that's an introduction. Yes. <laughs> so introduction is there's a river and there's a boat and there's a family. Then the story begins. And in the family there was Sarah Shu, and she was very upset one day because I took her foot. Something went missing. Yes. So she did something very naughty. She wandered off into the bush by herself. And then section B is usually when the trouble happens, right? And got lost. Got lost, yeah. Okay. But then section A returns and it resolves itself. Yeah, and I then, think she, she finds her friend. And then the ending, we call it a coda. Say it for me. Coda. So in English, we say conclusion. But in the music world, we say coda. Conclusion is, and the family lived happily ever after. After, yeah. Does that make sense? So that's how this ternary form goes. Now, can you do me a favor? Can you find me where section A is? So we know introduction is here. Where does the main story begin? Somewhere close to the introduction. Here. Good. Da, da, the theme comes in section A. Now, where's the trouble? Where does section B come in? It's getting dangerous here. Where? So it sounds different. Good. Sarah's gotten lost. Dun dun dun. dun, 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 dun yeah, why are you smiling? You should be worried. Yes. My sister's gotten lost. You have to say no. Don't say yes. And then where does A come back? Only <laughs> <Mommy, there's some laughs> <water>. <laughs> right, where does section A come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. <laughs> I got worried for a moment. All right, and where is, what is the key of the piece? Last question. Three, ah. two, one, and... I have no idea. <laughs> What's the tactic? The strategy. The ending usually finishes uh. on something called the tonic. So, we look Let's at... See? So we look at the bottom note of the last chord. C. So you're telling me this is a C. Play both hands. So play both hands. So what's the bottom note? The lowest note you're playing. A. Good. Now, does this piece make you smile or does it make you want to cry? Want to cry? Want to cry. So... Uh, a minor? Very good. Does it make sense? So yeah. don't forget how to find your key. No idea. I really need a drink kind of water. Answer, if you don't have a drink bottle, in the kitchen there are cups. And you can just pour a glass of water. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next piece. You'll get your water if you play the next piece well. So the next piece is Petite Piece. So this one's passed now. Let's take out Petite Piece. Is this right now? Yes. Let's try.
good. You're on the roll today. So you preserve your drink of water. Don't spill it on the piano, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. There's always a rule is you never bring liquid close to the piano. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> Alright, hop on. How was the water? It was very good. Great. A thousand thumbs up. A thousand thumbs up. Wow. That's a lot of thumbs. Okay, so let's work on some of the harder spots. The opening pretty good. Let's see if you can do it with dynamics though. Hop off me. So what's the opening? It says piano. And then we got crease, which stands for What's a dynamic that starts with Cree? Think of your scales, I always say it. Uh, crescendo? Crescendo, which means to gradually getting softer, louder. Alright, gradually getting louder. So let's have a look. One and two and one and two. One and two. One reason why I can make that crescendo so smooth is because I dig the keys. If you don't dig, it's going to sound very weird. So dig. And how to understand digging is you just push your arm down, right? So get your, let's make it fun. Use two hands and push my arm down. Ready? Now when you push, if you realize, if you do it hard, right? Do it hard, go. It's going to sound bad, right? But if you do it gradually, like you're massaging your mom, and put more weight into it, Put more weight to it. Pretend you're pressing down, almost like a push-up. Yeah. See how nice that is? See, that's what I mean. You're digging. Yeah. Not whacking. Otherwise, if you're whacking, you, the piano will be upset with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see you like the the soldier stuff. <laughs> you must love Avengers then. <laughs> so let's go from here. Fingers curved. One and two. Okay. Wait. Yep. This one the very top. Oh. Yes. One and two. And two. Let's make those staccatos more cool. And two. One and two. Make it a bit sharper when you come up. One and two. And one and two. One and two. One and two. And one and two. And one and two. And dig. So the hardest spot here is to keep it in time because usually when we go louder, what happens? Do we go faster or slower? Faster. We don't want that, right? One and two and one and two. We don't want that, right? You become a horse. We don't want that. Yes. So one and two and one and two. So keep me in time. Count out loud for me. Go. One. I can't hear you. It has to be loud. Go. One and go. One and two. <laughs> You're rushing. <laughs> Ready? Go. One and two. One and two. One and two. What? Two and. One and two and. Okay, hop on. No, two and. I'll get the teddy bear and two and you. Let's go from here. In time. Yes, from, from here, yes. I'm from here. Oh. Yes. Okay, now this is probably the hardest spot. Do you agree? Yeah. So from here to here. Let's try. Pretty 
hard, right? <laughs> so, hover for me. Uh, I mean, stop, stop it for me. We're gonna drill it in four bars, okay? So we'll drill this hard one first. Just pretend you're an athlete, right? If you're a basketball player and you have trouble shooting from a particular spot, what do you do? You just drill shooting from that spot, right? So piano is very similar. From here, we go right hand. One, and two, and one, and two, and. The second one is slightly bigger. So ya da 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 da, ya da 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 da. Come, sing it for me. Da 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 da, ya da 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 da. Watch me, watch me. Ya da 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 da, sing it. Ya da 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 da. Ya da 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 da. Ya da 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 da. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's it. So one and two. Let's try right hand. What? What? Stop. Curve your fingers. That's why you can't do both hands, because you can't do one hand. Good. So it's this one you are not confident with, so do this. Okay. Good. And again. Good. Now next one. Uh, next one, go. So, can we do the next one? So it comes back. Yes. Yes. Okay, now watch. How cool is that? Now come off, ready? See that? Yes! Does that make sense? So now let's separate hands first before you try together. And next time you're gonna impress our audience, our YouTube fans, <laughs> and make it really good. So bar 17 to 18, drill 10 times separate hands until it is good. And then mommy might say, good job, now drill it five times. And once it's really good, mum will say, good job. You don't have to drill anymore. Yeah? But your, only your mum can make that decision, okay? You can't make that decision. Because if you made the decision, tomorrow you wouldn't do it. <laughs> so, so you need mum to make sure you're doing it to get it nice and fluent. Any questions, Ryan? I need to drink more water again. Another drink. Always drinking here. Yeah, mum will get it for you. And then add more dynamics the whole way. So we can learn another grade two piece now. Now that you've passed Mazuka. One, two, three, four, five, six. You already passed six. So he's also learning March. Seven March and petite piece. So eight. So only two more we need. Do we have the grade two book here? No, we don't. No, we don't. Can we get the book or okay, I'll just get the book for you. Mommy, am I doing a um, nigga mash today? Nigga doing a play nigga mash piece. Am I doing it today? Oh, triplets. Have we done this one yet? Mini wets by Mozart. Da 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 da. How about for me? Stand on my right. This one's a good exercise for you. It's actually working on your rhythm. I do mini wet one. Yeah, but this one is all triplets. So if you're playing this one, I want you to say one and a, two and a, three and a. Say it. One and a, two and a, three and a. I don't even mind if you say pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Yeah. Say it. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Then say pineapple, 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 one and two and three. Yeah. Say it. Pineapple, 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 one and two and three and three. watch. Pineapple, 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 one and two and three and one and two and three and three and three and three and three and Pineapple, 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 pineapple
pineapple yum. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple yum. That's it. Very rhythmic, right? Have you bought a Pokemon card there? Talking about pineapple, and then you're talking about Pokemon. Is this the neck? Um, okay, just give me a moment. Yes. So, when you do the first week, I recommend just doing up to here. Okay, make your life a bit easier because it is quite hard. The rhythm might drive you crazy for the first week, but once you get it, the second week should be easier. It should be, not it will be. So <laughs> we'll find out. It depends how well you learn up this one. Yeah, probably lots of clapping. Though. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. One and two and three. And Get the right hand really good. My tip for you is in order to not go crazy, the next few days, don't do both hands. Make sense? Just nail the separate hands first, and then after about three days, do both hands. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, good. Give me a high five if it makes sense. All right, bye-bye.